words right now. I have no words. Let's get into it. What up, everybody? It's your boy, this month, Sneakerhead in the house, coming with two unboxings. One, sneakers. Another one, non-sneakers. Before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. Truly appreciate all the support. <sighs> Man, your boy is hyped right now. I've been on a roll lately, and I just li struck like liquid gold on Friday. So, or last Thursday, I believe. So without further ado, I'm gonna get right into it. So the first pickup will be my non-sneaker unboxing. I wanna send a special, special shout out to my homie, Miss DMV Soul. I'll leave her Instagram information uh, right here on the screen so you guys can see it either right here or right there. Um, she's a big time sneakerhead, has a crazy collection. So make sure you go check her out uh, on Instagram. Her collection is bananas. But she looked out for me on this. She made a post about it. I said, damn, I want one. And then she said, you know what? She ended up uh, sending me a DM. I said, yo, I can give it to you for retail. No problem, just retail plus shipping. And I was like, most definitely. Good looking out. So, man, take a guess what it is. Go ahead, take a guess down below at what it is. Take a guess. We have the NES Classic, man. Woo! I've been trying to get this joint since before Christmas. But as you know, they've been selling out and they're continuing to sell out at all the major retailers. And they do limited drops. Nintendo was saying there would be plenty of these for everybody, which of course eventually will happen. But I thought by now, after maybe January or early January, it would be a much easier cop, but it hasn't been. So she hit me up, said I got you because she had two. And boom, here it is. I cannot wait to play this. I do wish the controller was wireless, but I know you can get like an extender cable for it so that at least you don't have to be right up on the TV like this. Now, like I said, I've been on a roll lately when it comes to pickups. And I'm going to just let you know right now, this is not a Jordan pickup. I don't know when I'll get one. Again, the All-Star 1s are dope. Obviously, the Cherry 13s are dope. But I don't know when I'm going to finally pull the trigger on the Jordan pickup. But came from the friendly folks at SNS. &S, sneakers and stuff. And after saying that, I'm sure most of you know what this is. This is a hype shoe. It's a limited shoe, even though they're going to do a wider release this weekend. So don't try to pay the resale prices just yet. Oh, they're changed up the way they do their boxes now, too. Oh, that's dope. So you can return them in the same box you ship them. Okay, that's dope. Yes. You know what time it is, baby. Yes, sir. Oh, this box. This box even feels amazing. It doesn't feel like just straight cardboard. This box is soft. I, I don't know how to describe it. But anyway... And here we go. Oh, yes! You know what time it is. Yet again, we have another fire, flame, fuego pickup right here. We have the SNS and Social Status and Adidas Consortium Sneaker Exchange Collab. Woo! Wow. This is crazy. Let me get this focus right for y'all because this is bananas. Look at this. Comes with an extra set of laces. I'm guessing these, yeah, these look like 3M laces. This is so sick and I'm so hyped to get this because I struck out on the Reigning Champ Collab which to many it was the collab of the year, even though it was a very simple design, just black and white prime knit primarily. I believe it had the leather cage. This one here, prime knit upper, black and white. Obviously the pattern's different. 
and of course it has the toe cap which is like a hardened toe cap and the cage is made of suede oh man this is nuts let me zoom in a little more but yeah it has the suede here and oh my gosh and then you have the leather on the tongue and as always you have the uh, pull tabs that are in leather as well as the little hole that they use for many collabs so this says SNF and this pair set has the social status logo right there so this collab is absolutely fire continental also you got adidas on the toe nothing to it so like i said i i'm glad i got this now i'll be honest oh of course you got real leather tag that it says right there but man super dope and so this pair has the sns on the sns side and this has adidas and social status on this side here man these are sick i, I went on ebay they're selling for about 450 to 500 which is nuts again there's a wider release coming this weekend so the prices will drop but i don't expect this to get anywhere below let's say 350 um and even then who knows with how hype this is it may not even drop in terms of price but i have a feeling it will a little bit but man just been on fire with adidas lately man and the boost technology so yeah super happy to have these like i said if i had the reigning champ ultra boost i may not have pulled the trigger on these because these are sick these are instant top 10 pickups of the year for me right here but the reigning champ because they they're so close and again it's another black and white silhouette that's one reason why i didn't get the oreo 3.0 uh boost or anything because i wasn't it's like okay i have enough black and white prime knit ultra boost i have a couple of different pairs of black ultra boost so if i had the reigning champs rather I probably wouldn't have copped these, even though they would probably be a little bit of regret. But anyway, folks, I know I'm going way past what I'm usually used to doing in terms of minutes. So I'm going to stop yapping right now. Let me know down below if you cop these bad boys. Ugh. Immaculate. These joints are straight immaculate, man. You can These are beautiful. But anyway, it's your boy, the smart sneakerhead. Thanks for tuning in. And a brother is out. Peace.